Straight up to our top story, we're tracking at the south. The Delhi Women's Commission and police are conducting raids on eight Adhyatmik Vishwavidyalaya ashrams in New Delhi. Following orders from the High Court, Delhi Commission for Women Chief Swati Malival visited ashrams in Mohan Garden and Uttam Nagar today and rescued eight more girls. Earlier, remember, over 100 girls, including minors, were rescued from the Rohini ashram. These girls were kept in inhuman conditions, confined and tortured. For years, the Delhi High Court has ordered the CBI now to arrest the founder of the ashram, self-styled Godman Virendra Dev Dixit, latest by the 4th of January. In fact, we have Mohit joining us with more details on the story. Mohit, we understand now, of course, that the DCW has also found that Adhyatmik Vishwa Vidyalaya has made its followers sign in a fit of it, much like what we saw in the Ram Rahim case. But take us through this. The fact that over eight ashrams have been raided by the DCW chief. What were the findings? Well, certainly, you know, it's a shocking revelation of sorts that is emerging from these ashrams on a daily basis. You know, this happens to, to be the fourth day and hundreds of women have already been rescued from these ashrams, which are, uh, you know, spread across Delhi, uh, NCR and several of them are uh, in uh, in other states as well. So, you know, the, the Delhi police under the uh, under the supervision of uh, the Delhi uh, High Court has, is slowly and steadily trying to ensure that all of these females are rescued. And, and mind you, you know, many of these are minor, uh, minor girls. And and uh, you know what was shocking in this particular part is uh, is that uh, uh, it has come to the fore that uh, it seems that the, uh, there's a possibility that some of the Delhi police officers could have also been involved with the with the uh, with the ashram uh, personnel and uh, you know it was uh, with their connivance that uh, this entire thing was happening and this is also emerging from uh, uh, with, the, with the shocking details that are emerging on a daily daily basis. We have already seen how the DCW has been tracking this particular uh, this particular issue. They have been raiding constantly they had also gone to the high court and uh, you know it was uh, only after the high court uh, perseverance that you know such uh, such a case has has come out and over as you rightly pointed out over 100 uh, minors and uh, 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 adults have been already rescued from these ashrams and uh, what was shocking is that the complaints which are coming out you know the statements which are coming out are also shocking they have uh, uh, you know if uh, if uh, further investigate uh, although investigation is still uh, undergoing in these processes but what their statements are coming out across it it very categorically says that they were sexually and physically being abused and they were being uh, you know being kept inside those ashrams like in animal like conditions and it was um, you know in spite of the fact that uh, they did not want to live here many of them were saying that they were confided uh, uh, confined to, uh, to those ashrams they weren't allowed to even step out for several several days several months so you know these are the shocking uh, details that are emerging right now but uh, finally, you know, it seems that the Delhi police has taken, uh, taken, uh, you know, the entire investigation uh, with uh, th thoroughly, and they are trying to investigate uh, as to how such a thing could happen right under their noses. At the same time, the High Court is is very adamant and has ordered an immediate probe in this particular matter, and that is the reason that we are looking at all these raids which are happening across Delhi. All right, Mohit, many thanks for getting us those details. In fact, several questions have also been raised about the Delhi police. In this case, did Delhi police help the self-styled Godman run the ashram with impunity? Mirror now has found that on the 8th of November, a woman complained to the police about an alleged sexual assault in the ashram. But instead of seriously pursuing the case, Delhi police turned a blind eye. On the 11th of November, the then DCP of Rohini, Rishi Pal, said he went inside the ashram and found no women there but raids conducted last week revealed startling results over 100 girls including minors were held hostage on the premises listen into what this dcp had to say on the 11th of november vijayawar police station ke area mein ye adhyatmik vishwavidyalay ke naam se ek sanstha chal rahi hai उसके खिलाफ शिकायत प्राप्त हुई थी और उस शिकायत की जांच करने के लिए ही उसके अंदर जाके उसके जो मैनेजमेंट है उनसे बात की अंदर महिलाएं हैं उनसे बात हुई सभी मेजर है कोई माइनर नहीं है अलग अलग बात की और जो बैठ के वो प्रेयर कर रहे थे इकट्ठे उनसे भी बात हुई प्रेम ऑफ ऐसा ही ऐसा लगा नहीं कि कोई लीगल कन्फाइनमेंट की बात है ना कि 
In fact, another branch of the Adhyatmik Vishwa Vidyalaya has been raided by the police in Durgapur in West Bengal. The branch was shut down following protests by locals. When the ashram was set up in uh, this locality of Durgapur, there was no access given to the locals there. There were minor uh, girls inside that ashram living there. But every time the locals wanted to enter the ashram, they were not allowed to go inside. That's when uh, they got the uh, news from uh, what was happening in Delhi, the raids that were carried out in the different ashrams uh, across Delhi NCR. And they protested outside uh, the branch here in Durgapur. And uh, the, when the local police came to the spot. They uh, conducted a search operation but they did not find anything inside. But for now the ashram has been shut down.